how to fix Google Search Console structured data missing field errors. In this video session, I'm going to show you how you meant to approach fixing missing field for your structured data. It doesn't matter what type of structured data your website is using, whether you're using product markup, article markup, news markup, local business, course markup. It doesn't matter what type of schema markup that you're using, right? Certain times, missing field basically says for Google to display your structured data in rich results, it is missing a required field. To be able to fix missing field issues, in Search Console enhancement reports, you can further analyze the examples. We have the date ranges. We also have this filter here, but you don't really need to play around with that. And when you press on an example URL, on the right hand side, Google Search Console may show you some information here. Yeah, this may be useful for you know, website owners who have technical skills. I actually don't tend to use this. Instead, I tend to use Rich Results Tester to fix structured data problems. Now, there is two ways to analyze the code to identify the missing field. One is you can copy the example URL from Search Console simply press on this here so you copy it and rich results tester you can conduct the test on the url itself or depending on the type of website that you have and the schema markup that you're using you can press on Control u on your keyboard and then look at the code especially if you're using json ld script to generate schema markup code because most plugins or apps actually use this method then it's just matter of highlighting the schema markup script and go to rich results tester place the code and conduct your test test so i'm showing you two different options to analyze the problem yeah as that's going on Okay, I'm actually going to remove a missing field. So for the course markup, offers is a required field. How do you find that out? You go to Google Search Central, help documentation, look at all structured data features. And if you're using article markup, for example, simply press on the link and look at the the examples here okay we will have required let's take a look what is required there are no required properties for this particular markup so in this example you actually won't see missing field issues because nothing is required really but let's imagine you're using course info markup let's imagine your website has some courses and here let's search for required as we can see google help section tells us you know what for this particular markup type certain things are required so i can press on the link to see the required properties and that's missing in my example missing field has course instance that means i need to now look at the required field and see that's the property that's missing on the right hand side you have some examples you don't have to use the exact one because that will depend on the type of markup that you have so as far as google rich results is concerned i have to have has course instance for my example and 
here's an example but as I've said you don't have to actually use this particular example unless it's suitable for you right so you can go to schema markup as in schema.org and search for that property to learn more about some examples what the property means you can read about what it is you, sometimes you'll see some examples here and different examples okay and then you can say okay well how do I then use that because that's a required field for course markup let's imagine you have frequent last questions then same principles apply all you need to do is look at required field as in required properties in this example it's main entity so frequently asked questions markup must have main entity if that is missing google search console enhancement reports will show missing field issues missing field issues must be fixed to take advantage of google rich results so let's go and look at the course example because missing field offers right so in my example when I use the rich results test I removed the offers which was required that's course info let's look at offers so surely this is just an example I can look at the example copy it perhaps edit the code on my website that's generating the schema markup so I'll show you that here let's imagine that was the schema markup code and let's imagine if it was missing the offers then it's just matter of getting a sample and put offers because that's a required field and it's just a matter of changing the insight according to your markup and then update that is and upload it back to your server that is how you fix missing field issues all you need to do is conduct your tests to see the code that is missing is a schema markup block usually that's the scenario visit the Google search central structure data help section to further analyze what's required and simply make sure the required fields are placed on the schema markup code on your website as I've said it is only smart to visit schema.org to learn more about the property and what else you can do with it that is how you fix missing field issues once you update your schema markup structure data code and conduct tests let's imagine I've updated code then you need to retest it to see you know what is everything okay with the rich results tester if so then you can validate your fix that's testing a live URL keep that in mind whereby search console reports will show you examples perhaps you know Google has visited the site last week that's why you want to use the live tester once you update your website as you can see there is a lot of schema markup code here and everything is checked as green that means there is no problems including the course info because there, I've added the required field which was offers Rankia is a structured data expert that means I have tutorials that show you more insights as to what's possible with structured data 
and as far as your website success see your business success you should 110 percent make sure that you're using structured data and there are no issues in google search console because if there are issues then then google search results won't show your structured data and adding structured data basically means you're enjoying free website traffic if you benefited from this video session please do give it a like and share it and i'll talk with you in the next video session